Okay, I'm here with uh, Shuta Shutananen in the uh, Helium Ion Microscope Laboratory. And uh, I just want to ask you a few questions, Shuta. Yes. Uh, get to know you and the microscope. So, mm -hmm. uh, how long have you been here at MSL? In, in the MSL, I have been here for the last 10 years. So, I came in 1999. So, 11 years actually. And what's your background? Uh, so, I did my PhD in physics, surface science from Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. In Bozeman, yeah. And then I want to mention that I was the official first visitor for MSAT. Really? Yes. So, I came in 1997 and I worked with Thurwa in the accelerator lab when I was doing my postdoc at Alabama. Uh -huh. So, you came straight to MSOL, not? Uh, no. So, then I went to California. There's a company called Charles Evans and Associates. Oh, yeah. You might Charles have heard Evans, it. Yeah. So we've got a new piece of equipment here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. So before I go into the helium microscope, this is similar to second, I mean, scanning electron microscope. So to have a nice image, you need to have three things. One, you need to have a very small probe. You know, uh -huh. the smaller the beam size is better for the image. The second thing you need is the interaction volume. So how much the incident beam is going to interact with, the with your sample or the yeah. surface. The third thing is the ability of the color emitting the secondary electrons from the material. Okay. So these are the three important stuff for the, any imaging. So what kind of science do you think we're going to do on this? Uh, material science, chemistry? Yes. Uh, Every, I think material science or then from material science to biological science to biogeo samples. Uh -huh. There are a lot of science that we are planning to do. And so what they did is they put some bacteria in some silica material and then they want to see how this bacteria you know interact with this silica. Mm -hmm. So here is a SCM image and here is a, a helium microscope image. So this is a high magnification you can see this is like 2.5 micron uh, field of view. Okay. So now we go to a little higher magnification. So this is again SCM image and this is a helium microscope image. Again if you look at it like this you don't see much different. But if you zoom in nicely, you can see this one is out of focus, yeah. this one is focused, right? So that is the main problem with ACM. Yeah, depth the field. depth of field is very yeah. limited. But if yeah. you look at this guy here, everything is focused, but still it's not crispy as this one. Important thing comes in here, okay? This so this is, is even higher magnification. This is higher magnification, one micron magnification. So now you can see this is ACM, this is helium. Which one do you prefer here? I think the helium. We believe that, you know, the main advantage of helium microscope is the depth of field and the high, the high magnification. Point, the point size, right? right. Yeah. So this is 100 micron magnification. Now I'm going to the even 500 nanometer magnification. Wow. You can see this one. This is, yeah, again, so this one so was... This is half a million on this side and half a million exactly. there. And it's plurry. Yeah, it's, yes. it's remarkable. And this was collected by the best you know, operator in ACM, Bruce Array. So this is going to go in the quiet wing when yes. it's built, yeah. right? Yes, that's what so. I want to show you. If you look at carefully at these edges, yeah. you see some wiggles there. Yep. That's coming from this vibration here. Yeah, so. so we believe this will be even improved when we go to the quiet wing. Great. That'll be awesome. Yeah.